continue with chapter 3, sequence and series 3.1c. After this lecture, students should be able to find the sum to infinity. The sum to infinity of a geometric is exists if n approaches infinity. When n approaches infinity, r to the power of n approaches 0. Therefore, the series will converge to s infinity equal to a over 1 minus r, where our r is between negative 1 and 1. So this is the formula for s to infinity. Example 1. Find the sum to infinity for the series 3 plus 1 plus 1 over 3 plus dot dot dot. So, given here, first term, A. A is equal to 3. The R is equal to 1 over 3. So, substitute into the formula of S infinity, then we have 3 over 1 minus 1 over 3. And then, calculate this expression, we have 9 over 2. Example 2. The sum to infinity of geometric series is 7. So, S infinity is equal to 7. And the sum of the first two terms, so this is S2, is equal to 48 over 7. Find the positive common ratio. So, we need to find the R and the first term. Example is getting harder. So now we need to solve carefully. So by using the first condition, S infinity is equal to 7. Then we have A is equal to 7, 1 minus R. Assuming this is the first equation, then we know that the sum of the first two terms as 2 is equal to 48 over 7. So then, S2 can be defined as A plus AR equal to 48 over 7. Factorize the A, then we have A 1 plus R equals to 48 over 7. So, assuming this is equation 2. Now, solving simultaneously equation 1 with equation 2. Substitute the value of A, 7, 1 minus R into second equation. So, then we have 7, 1 minus R. 1 plus R equal to 48 over 7. And then, expand the bracket and bring 7 downward. We have 1 minus R squared equal to 48 over 49. Then solve for R squared. R squared equal to 1 over 49, therefore R equal to 1 over 7 because the question asks for positive R. And then by using the value of R equal to 1 over 7, find the value of first term. Substitute into first equation. The first equation is a is equal to 
7, 1 minus R. So, R is equal to 1 minus 1 over 7. Simplify, then we get A equal to 6. Study this example. Which job will you choose? Compare your answer with my answer. Job 1. We get 1 million after the end of the month. Job 2. We have 2 cent for the first day. And then 4 cent for the second day and 8 cent for the third day and so on. So as we can see here, the n terms of our series is 2 to the power of n. So the sum is 2 plus 2 to the power of n, 2 to the power of 3 and so on. So after 30 days, what is the sum of your income? So following the geometric series, the sum of n terms with a is equal to 2, r is equal to 2, then the sn is given as 2 to the power of 2n minus 1. After 30 days, this is your salary. So, which job you want to choose? Example 3. Calculate the sum to infinity of this series. 2 plus half plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 32. And so on. So, now here we have the first term is 2 the r is equal to 1 over 4. How to get the r? r can be defined as 1 over 2 divided by 2, which is equal to 1 over 4. Therefore, the formula for s infinity is equal to a over 1 minus r. Just substitute the value of a and r into the formula. Uh, the answer is 8 over 3. Example Express 5.232323 and so on in the form of P over Q where P, Q are the element of real number. So now we need to change 5.232323 in the form of fraction. So, 5.232323 can be written as 5 plus 0 0.23 plus 0 0.0023 plus 0 0.000023 and so on. Rewrite 0 0.23, 0 0.0023 in fraction form. So, then we have 5 plus 23 over 100 plus 23 over 100 squared plus 23 over 100 cubed plus dot dot dot. So this is our geometric sequence with A is equal to 23 over 100, R equal to 1 over 100. Now, this part, we can find the S infinity. So, 5 plus S infinity. Using the formula of S infinity, A over 1 minus R with A equal to 23 over 100 and R equal to 1 over 100. Then, we solve 5.232323 can be written as... 518 over 99.
then example 5 this is application of our geometric sequence each year the price of a car depreciate by 10 percent the value of the beginning of the year if the original price of the car is 50,000 find its price after 10 years so let tn be the price of the car after n years so after one year the price of the car is depreciated by 10 percent so the price minus the depreciate price so factorize the five 50,000, then we have 1 minus 0 0.1, then we have 50,000, 0 0.9. After second year, the, the price of the car is depreciated by the price of the car at year 1 minus the price of the car at year 1 times 10% of the depreciate value. Factorize the D1, T1, we have T1 times 0 0.9. So, substitute the value of T1, which is 50,000, 0 0.9 times 0 0.9. So, we have 50,000, 0 0.9 squared. Now, using the same pattern, try to solve the for the third year. So now, as you can see here, the pattern is T3, 50,000 to the power of 3. Therefore, we can conclude that Tn is equal to 50,000, 0 0.9 to the power of N. After 10 years, the price of the car is T10. T10 is equal to 50,000, 0 0.9 to the power of 10 because we are following this formula. And the price of the car is 17,433.92. Before we end up our lecture, please do this exercise and submit to your lecturer. That's all for today. So we end our lecture two of two here. That's all.